Whether you're in the front of the shop or the back of the shop repairing the vehicles, either way, sometimes you're gonna to have to play instructor and teach your customers things about their vehicle that they might not be aware of. One of them, of course, is TPMS battery life. Most customers believe that these will last the life of their vehicle. Unfortunately, that's not the case. The average lifespan is about seven to nine years. So as a technician or a repair shop, it's a good idea if you have an older vehicle rolling in for tires to go ahead and test them to see the battery condition of them. A low battery could be an indication that mm, it's gonna be time to replace those sensors. Are you familiar with TPMS sensor modes? There are three primary modes, drive mode, alert mode, and sleep mode. In drive mode, an accelerometer inside the sensor wakes it up as soon as the wheels begin to turn. The sensor will then broadcast data every 30 to 90 seconds, depending on the system. Alert mode is entered during rapid pressure loss. And during alert mode, the sensor begins to transmit data at a much higher frequency a lot more often to make sure it gets that signal to the receiver, to the control unit, to warn the driver. In sleep mode, the sensor ceases to transmit to prevent the battery from going dead. Some sensors also have a ship mode, which keeps them dormant until you get the sensor and wake it up with the scan tool. No matter the vehicle, after eight to 10 years, typically the TPMS sensors will need to be replaced because the battery inside the sensor itself has become depleted. Your options for replacing a sensor, well, you could go the direct route. The direct route is to replace sensor for sensor. Basically, you're taking a brand new OE sensor and installing it on the vehicle and then programming the vehicle for that sensor ID. There are programmable sensors. These are wondrous because they help to cut down the inventory of your shop. This one can cover hundreds of applications and can suit two frequency ranges, 315 and 433. You're going to need a TPMS tool to program this sensor so it fits the vehicle. But with this approach, well, you don't have to wait for that sensor to come from the dealership or a parts supplier. You can have these as inventory in your shop that can cover close to 90% of the vehicles out there on the marketplace with TPMS sensors that will need to be replaced. TPMS sensors utilize radio frequency to transmit their data to the vehicle. Most transmit at either 315 or 433 megahertz. This is a relatively low power and low frequency signal, which is why occasionally a sensor may not communicate with a vehicle and you'll have to roll the vehicle forward if the signal is being blocked by brake components such as a brake caliper.